Hello, I'm Emma Haupt with WUVA News, and welcome to another episode of Get in the Game, where I interview student athletes, try to play their sport, and hope not to make a fool out of myself. So, let's get started. So today I'm here with Gus Kuvaris and Sam Magnin, two members of the Varsity Swim and Dive team. Guys, thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having me. So my first question is, is there a such thing as home pool advantage? Like, do you hear the crowd when you're swimming? What, tell me about that. Uh, yeah, there absolutely is a home pool advantage. Um, during our alumni meets, we get like three, 400 people in the stands, which pretty much packs the whole place. Um, and auditoriums tend to be kind of loud anyway, so with the noise on top of like the usual noise, it, it gets pretty loud in here. Most definitely, you can hear everyone. Uh, maybe not necessarily words or anything like that, but uh, you can hear the uh, enthusiasm of uh, your, both your teammates and the fans. So swimming is a team sport, and it's also kind of an individual sport. How do you guys play that out? What's the competitiveness like in practice? Everyone is uh, trying to make themselves better, but at the end of the day, making yourself better is making your teammates better. Uh, you got a lot of pride wearing the, the VN Sabres, and you really want to do well for the guy standing next to you. So. so you guys got new coaching staff last year. How is, what have they been teaching to you guys, or what's been your main focus this season? Uh, I'd say the biggest difference for the new coaches from our first two years is just the energy they bring to the pool deck. It's a lot easier to go through hard practices when the energy's there as opposed to when it's kind of flat and no one's really talking a lot. All right, well, thank you. I think, I think it's time to get in the pool. Are you all ready to get in the pool? I think so. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, so clearly you all have been in the pool, taking a dip. You guys are ready to go. Took me about 20 minutes to get this suit on, but now I am ready. So let's get started. What's the first thing we're going to do? Uh, you're going to want to put your cabin goggles on. All right, let's do that. This tiny thing goes on my yes, big head. Yes, yes. It stretches. It's pretty stretchy. Perfect. And finally, you're going to want to put these goggles on. Uh, yep. And now you're ready to rock and roll. Now that you got all your stuff on, we're going to teach you how to get in the pool properly. He'll set up like this, and Sam will now bend over to take his mark. He'll grab the block and move his back foot farther back to get more explosive. And now we'll do a real start. Here we go. Sam, take your mark. Up. So I'm out of breath. That entry was very subpar. What are you guys going to teach me next? Uh, we're going to do butterfly next, usually the hardest choke. So good luck. I'm terrified. So when he swims butterfly, he's going to use both his arms to come over the water and pull down with both his arms. Then he's going to kick with two feet at a time, just like a dolphin. This is the most physically taxing stroke because it takes all parts of your body and most taxing on your shoulders. Oh. All right, wow. Well, butterfly was a struggle and a half. What are you guys going to teach me next? Uh, next we're going to do freestyle, usually the first stroke people learn, and we're going to have some fun with that. Can't wait. Let's go. The difference between freestyle and butterfly is your arms are moving at different times as well as your feet. It's the primary stroke. Most people call it the crawl. All right. Let me catch my breath real quick. Thank you guys for being with me today. It was super fun. Do you all have anything you want to say to our viewers before we sign out? Uh, Go uh, who's? Come to our home meets this year. All right, there you have it. For this week, I'm Emma Haft. We'll see you next time.